In this tutorial we will discuss fates of electronically excited molecules or ways by which electronically excited molecules can relax. After an excitation to an excited electronic state, a molecule will indefinitely relax back to its electronic ground state. To understand the different ways of relaxation, let us consider a PE curve as shown here. In the curve, S0 denotes the ground electronic singlet stage, S1 is first excited singlet and T1 is first excited triplet. Since singlet has higher energy than triplet, so curve of triplet lies lower than that of singlet. Transitions between energy levels that involve either the absorption or emission of radiations are called line transitions. Transitions between energy levels that occur without the absorption or emission of radiation are called non-radiative transitions. In absence of collisions, an excited molecule can undergo only process that conserve energy and therefore they return to ground state must involve the emission of a photon. Collision between an excited molecule and other molecule in sample, however, can result in an exchange of energy that removes some of excess of vibrational energy. The process is called as vibrational relaxation. The radiative decay process involves a transition between states of the same spin multiplicity and is called as fluorescence. The non-radiative decay process also involves the transition between states of the same multiplicity and is called internal conversion. In figure, S1 to S0 transition are radiative transitions, between different S1 states or different T1 states is non-radiative, particularly called as internal conversion as such transition occur between states of same multiplicity. If overlap occurs between different levels of S1 and T1 states, a molecule may undergo a non-radiative transition between states of different multiplicity, called intersystem crossing. Once the molecule reaches the lowest vibrational T1 state, it can relax to the ground electronic state by emitting a photon or by exchanging energy in a collision such that it makes a non-radiative transition from the excited electronic states to one of the rotational vibrational energy levels of the ground electronic state. The radiative decay process involves a transition between states of different spin multiplicity for example T1 to S0 that means transition from excited triplet to the ground state and is called phosphorescence. The non-radiative decay process also involves a transition between states of different spin multiplicity and is therefore another example of intersystem crossing. Because phosphorescence requires a change in the spin of an electron, it is usually a slower process than fluorescence. This much for today. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. See you.